In this video, we will learn how to use the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor in MicroPython. With ultrasonic sensor, it can be used for measuring distance or it can be used for sensing an object. Ultrasonic sensor has two cylinders in front which serves as transmitter and a receiver. The ultrasonic sensor works by sending out a high frequency sound waves and the distance is calculated by the time it takes for the signal to reflect. We will not go any further with the technicalities. The library have take care of it. HCSR 04 module is not built in on MicroPython's firmware. Fortunately, there is available module we can use. It is written by Roberto Sanchez. So it's available in GitHub, uploaded by RSC1975. To use it in MicroPython, we just need to upload it in a MicroPython's root directory of our device. So what we can do is copy this one. Copy and paste it in Tony Python. Now, let's upload it to MicroPython's root directory by clicking the file menu, then click Save As, then select MicroPython device. And let's name it as hcsr04.py. To verify that the file is written in MicroPython's root directory, click the View menu, then select Files. And the list of available files in the MicroPython's root directory is listed. Now to use the HCSR04 module, we just need to type Import HCSR04. Hit Enter. Now let's create an object named ultrasonic equal to HCSR04 module using the HCSR04 class with a parameters of trigger pin equal to 13 because I use digital pin 13 of ESP32. Let's also input a parameter echo pin equal to 12 and lastly the echo timeout us in microseconds equal to 1 million 1, 2, 3 which is equivalent to 1 second now we can print in REPL the distance measurement of the ultrasonic sensor using the ultrasonic that distance cm. Hit enter. And as you can see, it returns a value of 21.46048. Let's put an object which it can detect. Let's try again the ultrasonic that distance CM. Hit enter. Now it measures 6.7 centimeter. Or if we move backward, let's say 7 or 8. Try again. It's 7.5. For example number 1, Let's demonstrate something sort of intruder alarm. The intruder alarm will make a sound through the buzzer and the onboard LED should lights on when the ultrasonic sensor detects a distance less than 10 centimeters. So let us begin by creating a new file. Let's import the machine to access the hardware. Let's also import the HCSR04 
for the ultrasonic library. Let's also import time for the delays. Now, let me copy this part to create the object ultrasonic. Now, let's create an LED object using machine. That pin to GPIO2, set the pin direction to machine that pin that out. Let's create the PWM controlled buzzer object which is attached to one of the buzzer pin. So, let's create the buzzer object equal to using the machine that PWM and let's set the pin assignment to machine that pin to GPIO32. Let's set the pin direction, machine that pin that out. Let's set the buzzer frequency, buzzer that frequency, to a high pitch frequency, let's say 4186. This frequency resonates as an 8 octave C note and initialize the buzzer duty to 0. This will ensure that the buzzer will not make any sound initially. Now let's create the main loop using the while true. Inside the main loop, let's get a distance. Distance is equal to ultrasonic that distance in centimeter. Now we can print the measurement in the REPL. Let's say print distance is distance in a unit of centimeter. Or set a bar here distance in in inches so let's divide it to 2.54 with a unit of inch let's close it here we can create an if statement to check if the distance is less than 10 centimeter so if distance is less than or equal to 10 centimeter inside it Turn on the buzzer by setting the duty value to 512. Buzzer, that duty, 512. Let's also turn on the LED using the LED that on. Else, I want to turn off the buzzer by setting the duty value to 0. And... Turn off also the LED by LED dot off. Here we can add some delays. Let's say time that is sleep in milliseconds. Let's say 1000 milliseconds or one second. Let's save it in MicroPython device. Let's save it as main dot pi. Let me reset the ESP32. And as you can see, it's already detected the intruder. Let's move it further. So now it's 10 centimeter, more than 10. So I will move a little bit again, moving forward. And Oh, 9.5. Moving forward. Moving backward. I 
I will move it move it further. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you may write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtothinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good day ahead. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.